dressed in his signature white sailor suit and frequently carrying a silk opera hat and a single red rose, Marcel Marceau's charming alter ego, Bip, represents fragility, hope, and humanity's search for happiness. And as a Holocaust survivor, the incomparable mime artist was well placed to reflect on the broad themes of existence. Born Marcel Mangel in Strasbourg in 1923, he changed his Jewish name to Marceau when the Nazis occupied France during the Second World War. Marceau joined the French resistance with brother Alain and later joked he performed his first mime when coming face to face with German soldiers, convincing them that he and a friend were the advance guard of a much larger force. After the war, Marceau single-handedly revived the art of mime drawing inspiration from the silent films of Charlie Chaplin, Buster Keaton, and Harry Langdon. He studied with great French teachers and won universal acclaim with his first mini-drama, Praxitel and the Golden Fish, in 1946. Success in France enabled him to found his own pantomime company, and it toured the world, thrilling audiences with imaginative performances. At its heart was Bip the sad-faced clown who experienced heartache and happiness in equal measure. His representations of the stages of human life, youth, maturity, old age and death, led one critic to comment that Marceau accomplished in less than two minutes what most novelists cannot do in volumes. His genius was in distilling the essence of emotion and drawing the audience into his non-speaking world. The birth of television gave Marceau a new platform for his creative output, and he also featured in a number of films, including Barbarella as the mad scientist Professor Ping. In the Mel Brooks comedy Silent Movie, the joke is that Marceau has the only speaking line, a brusque non, when asked if he will appear in the film. Despite his silent performances, Marceau was an extremely expressive talker. Mime is the art of illusion and it's an art which of magic. You make appear and disappear objects, people. You make uh, transform the world. The public lives with you through your imagination and you make them see and believe what you're doing. You create everything. And you don't need words for that because it's, it's a visual art. One of the numbers I have is called Bip Hunts Butterflies. And it is a symbol at the same time because not only does he hunt butterflies, but it is the search for love, the search for trying to retain what escapes to us because life is so fragile and that we are aware that time goes away and we have to remain ourselves and we have to share. And Bip chases butterflies and destroys a butterfly, not aware that we often destroy love during life. Many things can be said very strongly with words. And this is a word theater, which is a reflection of man in his time, in our time. And I think that what the mind theater has to do is to bring a very strong witness, a very strong uh, acknowledgement of the deeds and thoughts of men. And this should be brought up in the light of people, without words, that means in silence. And this is what I'm trying to do. In 2002, Marceau served as United Nations Goodwill Ambassador at the Second World Assembly on Aging, where he said it was important for his generation to help young people understand the past, the present, and the future. There was worldwide mourning when he died five years later.